Sam here from Sheridan Computers. I want to talk about multi-factor authentication. Um, this is basically an introduction to what it is. Many people who are not particularly IT savvy uh, might not be aware of what uh, multi-factor authentication is. I hope this video um, educates people. I do believe it's down to um, IT people like myself to educate the people that might not be aware of um, such things and that they exist. So what is multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication? If you have an email address, for example, you log into your uh, webmail with a username and a password. Uh, Two-factor authentication, once you've entered your password, then you're going to need to provide another means to verify you are who you are, usually in the form of a text message um, or an authenticator, which involves entering a uh, time-based passcode. So I'm going to walk through and show you how to do this. It's completely free. It will cost you nothing. Um, but it might just stop your social media accounts getting hacked. It happens all the time with people using the same passwords on Facebook, uh, Twitter, other social media accounts. So I'm going to walk through and show you how to do this. Before I do, if you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk. If you click on the Hire Us button, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for. I'll get back to you on whether we're able to help. If you like this video, you find it useful, please um, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you will receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. So, with that out of the way, two-factor authentication. I'm going to walk through and show you exactly what it is. So the program that, uh, one of the programs that you can use for this is called Orphi. So if you head over to orphi.com, um, they give you instructions on how you can use this with um, certain accounts. Uh, Facebook, PayPal, um, whatever. It's got the guides for most of them on here. If you can do view two RFA guides. So you can see um, it works with Bitwarden. I've done a video on Bitwarden as a password manager. Um, why you should use a password manager and um, not use password reuse. So it supports Bitwarden, um, there's a lot on here. LastPass, it supports various password managers. Um, you can see we have LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a popular one for getting hacked. PayPal, it works with most services and you should be using it. So what is it and how does it work? Let me show you. So uh, this is just a demo ticket system that I'm using at the moment. I'm going to log in. Now, if I log in, uh, if I can remember what the username and password is for this. So, to log in, I have my username and I have my password. And I can't remember what it is. Right, so we're in. Let's me in straight away. Now, if somebody gets my password, um, I'm stuck. They've got access to this system. And they have access to client details, for example. Now, if it's your Facebook, they've got access to your Facebook or your friends. If it's your PayPal, your bank account's been compromised. Um, Two-factor authentication is basically, if somebody gets your password, it's not enough. To set this up, I'll show you an example. Uh, and I'm going to be using Orphi for this. But you can use Google Authenticator. Um, there's various tools out there. So if we're going to admin settings on here, and I go into, uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, account settings. So enable multi-factor authentication. Now if I click this, I get prompted um, to enter this verification code into Orphi. Now let me see if I can uh, do this with you. Now I've got Orphi on my phone, it's not on the computer. There are desktop applications available for it. If I turn this on, now using my phone, I basically go into Orphi, and I do add account, and as you can see on my phone, it's come up with, uh, I can scan a QR code, which I've got on the screen. So if I do scan QR code, don't know why it's come up with good insurance, never have no idea who they are. <laughs> um, so with Orphi, you can select a logo for it, uh, and you can, the name that you want to save it under. So go ahead and save that. As you can see, it's generated the token. The token expires after 60 seconds. Um, so to verify that this is working, I need to put my token in. Let me just let this expire. 
So, 592875. I do verify. So we're good, it's enabled. Uh, it varies from whichever site you're using. But now, um, let me try and log in again. So if I go ahead, log out, and log back in again, I'm now prompted for to enter a verification code. Um, so having my password to get into the system is not enough. Uh, so again, using my phone, let me pull Orphy back up again. Uh, find it, where was it? That one. And I put my authentication code in. Just let this time out. So 081862. And now I'm logged in. So you can see the benefits definitely of it. Um, on my personal one, I've got, I use Orphy for many accounts. You see, I've got it from my Facebook, Google, Amazon, uh, LinkedIn. Any account that you can use, uh, any website that you can use, or service you can use that supports authentication, you should definitely be using it. Um, so, Orphy, I'll take you across to their website and we'll take a look at it. So, we've basically just gone through this. Um, to get started, if you want to use it as a desktop application, you can download it for Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. It works with all three operating systems. Uh, you can get it from the Apple Store, and you can also get it from Google Play. So um, you go to the App Store, uh, choose your country. So uh, um, 44 United Kingdom. You just stick in your mobile number, submit it. Um, it'll verify it. You stick the app on your phone. Off you go, you're ready to go. There's no cost involved in it, it is completely free. And if you look at the 2FA guides on here, um, we can search for uh, LinkedIn, for example. So here's the LinkedIn guide, and it will take you through completely how to do it. Um, so it tells you settings, privacy, account, login and security. Uh, and you pretty much set the app up exactly the same way that I just did on um, the website that I just did it with, Cassilium. There's a lot of, um, most sites support two-factor authentication these days. We've got PayPal, um, Zero. Let's say if you uh, go to the main page, you can view all the guides. There are many of them. You can protect your Google accounts with them. Uh, as I mentioned, LinkedIn, PayPal, HubSpot, even your Uber account. Um, your Amazon account, your Apple account, your Microsoft account, your Slack account. So you should definitely be using this to protect your, uh, let me switch this back to full screen. So you should definitely be using this to protect your email account. You should definitely be using it to protect LinkedIn, PayPal, all your social media accounts. Um, and you should definitely be using it to protect your password manager. So I hope this uh, helps give you an insight into what two-factor authentica two authentication is and why you should be using it. Um, everybody who uses passwords. I wish people would stop. That's why I've done the video on Bitwarden, um, which is a brilliant password manager. Off is um, a really good tool for managing your multi-factor authentication and you can sync it between devices. Um, let me show you this real quick. If we uh, get off, go into Orphe again, under settings, um, we can go to devices. So, if allow multi-device, if you turn that to on, You've enabled multi device, you can now add additional devices to your account. So, if you turn it on um, and you install Orphe on a PC, for example, um, it will ask you to verify it from an existing device. If this is turned off, you can't add new devices. Um, 
So turn allow multi device on. You can add another phone, desktop devices, whatever you want. When you're finished, ensure you turn that off because it is a security risk and you don't need to add new you only need to turn it on when you're adding new devices. Let's get out of that. I hope this video helps. Uh, I say if you like the video, please hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.